In this video, we'll cover a new and preliminary stem cell therapy research that may be close to reversing type 1 diabetes. I know, it may sound preposterous to use the word reverse and type 1 diabetes in the same sentence, but this research is important and worth understanding in detail because it's evolving over the course of time. You're exactly right, Cyrus. And as you probably know, we're both living with type 1 diabetes for over 40 years combined. Because of that, we've received many emails and text message about this breaking story. The clinical trial that's underway has been covered by major media outlets, including the New York Times and USA Today. It all started with a Harvard biologist by the name of Dr. Melton. Search in my lab is focused on using stem cells to try to find new treatments for diabetes. He has two daughters living with type 1 diabetes, and he decided to change his career path to focus on finding a cure for type 1 diabetes. Now, over the course of 20 years, Dr. Melton and his team have worked tirelessly in the pursuit of recreating functional beta cells using undifferentiated embryonic stem cells. Think of it like this. Undifferentiated embryonic stem cells are cells that don't have an identity. And by applying an extremely specific combination of growth factors and hormones and nutrients at specific points in time in their development, it's possible to direct stem cells into different fates, whether it's a muscle cell, a liver cell, an adipose tissue cell, or a neuron, to name a few. The New York Times article profiles the first patient in a clinical trial, including 17 total participants. His name is Brian Shelton, and the article describes how prior to stem cell therapy, Brian often lost consciousness as a result of dangerous low blood glucose values, and his supervisor at work told him to retire after working for the United States Postal Service for 25 years. Brian recounts passing out in a customer's yard while delivering mail one day, and he had to move back with his ex-wife to protect his own safety at the age of 57. Now, the article tells the story of Brian being the first person to receive treatment in a human clinical trial conducted by a company called Vertex Pharmaceuticals. And this is a pharmaceutical company who hopes to deliver this treatment to people living with type 1 diabetes to completely eliminate the need for exogenous insulin to manage blood glucose values. So far, the treatment has been quite successful in restoring insulin production over the course of a 90-day period. Now, Cyrus, that, that is the dream, to completely eliminate the use of exogenous insulin under the right circumstances, right? So correct. we're going to cover that later in this video, but let's report the results. Brian has been able to lower his use of insulin by 91%. So he was using approximately 34 total units per day. And now at the 90-day mark, he was using 2.9 units per day. His A1C dropped from 8.6% to 7.2%. That's a 1.4% reduction. His fasting C-peptide level increased from an undetectable amount to 0.84 nanograms per milliliter. His stimulated C-peptide level increased from an undetectable amount to 1.68 nanograms per milliliter. And if you're a little bit confused about what C-peptide is, click right here and check out our video to learn more about that. Now, these results are promising. There's no question about that. This is the first time that embryonic stem cell therapy has been successfully used to restore insulin production in humans. And this follows from research that's been conducted by Dr. Diane Faustman at Massachusetts General Hospital, who's demonstrated the reversal of type 1 diabetes in mice using the BCG vaccine. Now, the BCG vaccine has been found to boost the production of a cytokine known as TNF, which then suppresses the activity of autoreactive T cells. And those are the cells that are responsible for attacking and destroying the insulin producing beta cells in type 1 diabetes. Now, human clinical trials are underway. And Diane Faustman and her team have demonstrated in more than 120 patients that BCG treated patients followed for more than five years have a statistically significant change in their A1C value with zero major complications or severe hypoglycemic events. One thing worth mentioning is that those who receive stem cell treatment must also take immunosuppressant medication for the rest of their life. This is to prevent their immune system from actively destroying the newly synthesized insulin producing beta cells, the same autoimmune reaction that caused type 1 diabetes in the first place. It is worth noting that Vertex is also progressing towards a drug that doesn't require immunosuppression. 
They have plans to file for the next steps of this drug in 2022. Okay, so now here's the question. What do we think of this? Do we recommend participating in a clinical trial to receive stem cell therapy and restore insulin production for yourself? Not exactly. Here's why. Okay. Number one, immunosuppressive medications come with a laundry list of side effects, including, but not limited to, an increased risk of skin cancer and lymphoma, bloody urine, decreased frequency or amount of urine, increased thirst, loss of appetite, lower back or side pain, nausea, swelling in the face, fingers or lower legs, trouble breathing, unusual tiredness or weakness, vomiting, weight gain, Vision changes, loss of coordination, clumsiness, confusion, memory loss, difficulty speaking or understanding what other people say, weakness in the legs, blurred vision, confusion, dizziness, headache, mental changes, uh, seizures, high blood pressure, unusual drowsiness, tiredness or weakness, or an unusually fast heartbeat. And that's just the beginning of the list. A long list, Cyrus. Now, yes. the mastering diabetes method is incredibly effective at lowering A1C values, lowering fasting blood glucose values, and lowering post-meal blood glucose values. It's also very effective at increasing time and range, lowering the risk of cardiovascular complications, kidney failure, and fatty liver disease, and dramatically improving the quality of life for people living with type 1 diabetes by restoring a sense of normalcy as a result of having more stable blood glucose values 24 hours a day. Now, we're currently in the process of conducting research in free-living humans with type 1 diabetes to quantify the improvement in glycemia that results from adopting a low-fat, plant-based, whole food diet. This type of therapy is most applicable to people living with uncontrolled type 1 diabetes. So the, the therapy we're talking about here is this research study. Like, They are specifically including 17 people who have impaired hypoglycemic awareness and severe hypoglycemia. Now we applaud everybody who's involved in this human clinical trial. And we hope that over the next decade, the field of type one diabetes reversal progresses to fully restore insulin production without the use of immunosuppressive medication. That's what we really want here. Now, it's also imperative to know that if you're living with type 1 diabetes, you can have an incredible quality of life without resorting to stem cell therapy or the need for immunosuppressive drugs. It's, we understand, it's attractive to want to reverse type 1 diabetes. I used to think that way. Robbie used to think that way. But the truth is that once you have impeccable blood glucose control, because you've worked on it, you've developed a system, and you are eating according to the recommendations that we give, which is to eat a low fat plant-based whole food diet, which maximizes your insulin sensitivity and gives you laser control on your blood glucose values, then the desire that you may have to participate in one of these clinical trials or to get stem cell therapy eventually when it matures goes down significantly because your quality of life goes up dramatically and you can, res you can resume living a normal life without feeling like type 1 diabetes is taking over your mental state. Just a little PS here. Uh, we hope we made it clear in this video that we are definitely in favor of continuing to search for solutions to type 1 diabetes beyond just exogenous insulin. So, you know, if cure is the right word, then let's use it. But we here at Mastering Diabetes definitely want to see this progress. We want to uh, definitely be able to live a life where there's no need for insulin because the beta cells in our own body are functioning properly. Like that would be amazing without the need for immunosuppressive drugs. Like that is our major concern here. And we all are holding out hope for this vision. But in the meantime, the mastering diabetes method works and you can have an amazing quality of life and you can have a strong immune system without the need for these drugs. And we want you to join us in that journey. Now do us a favor. Hit the like button now and share this video with one person that you think could benefit from learning more about the caveats of reversing type 1 diabetes using stem cell therapy or using their diet. In the comments section below, also let us know your thoughts. Do you want to use this treatment? Do you know somebody who wants to use this treatment? Do you share our perspective? Let us know your thoughts because we want to hear from you. And we're going to be making a ton of new free content for you every single week. So... Be sure to stay tuned and we're going to see you in the next video.